hey guys we will be going live today on my second channel sl davis social media news it will redirect you once the live stream starts at 6 p.m or a couple of minutes before 6 p.m eastern standard time if you're on my main channel there will be in the chat uh blue highlighted up at the top the link to redirect to my second channel so we can go over a few things but what i really want to say is Malia, who are you really fooling at the end of the day with all this um, acting and trickery that all of you guys are doing? You are the only cheapest. You're the, on you're the only reason why you're the queen is because Velvet left. If Velvet never left, you would be the side piece. You would be the rebound. And you would be passed around. As I know of, he was only passed around to Pisces because he obviously was not a threat to Nature Boy. But I think that if Velvet would have stayed longer, you would have been a pass around longer than just with Pisces. And you would have been going through changes like you were going through changes when Velvet was there. You got a one-up when Velvet left. But if Velvet did not go, you would have been... um second choice like you are still because if velvet didn't leave he would still be going through trials and tribulations with velvet but velvet would be cheapest and nobody would take that crown until she left like she did so it's really sad how you you know or whoever's putting this stuff up as of yesterday when it was a concern um and a relief if it was if it was any truth to it that you had left and the women had separated, um, which hopefully one of you guys do separate and then, you know, you guys crumble because you don't need to be putting yourself in this situation. You have a man who is still trying to be in control. Nature boy is not in control of the situation. He's not in control of none of you women, including you, Malia. If he was in so much control, he would be free right now, and he's not. Answer one question for me, Malia, Aya, Zoka, or any of you. Why is it that every time Nature Boy gets an attorney, they leave the case? What are you guys doing over there that the system's failing you guys and no one wants to represent none of you. We already know you guys are crash dummies. We already um, know what Nature Boy puts you up to. And you're still representing him as your king, as your god. And making a, a, um, a, a, a spectacle out of yourself. When you could be home um, rehabilitating yourself and being a mother to your child. Something that you could be proud of. Hanging around for nature boy is something not to be proud of at this point when nature boy was able to have visits prior to the restriction you think that nature boy wasn't um saying sweet little nothings and these female visitors ears that were coming to see him at the jail making promises of them probably being the only one really in his life just to get canteen and free phone calls off these women. You guys got to really wake up. And especially you, Malia. Because you caused yourself to end up with hell problems. Dealing with Nature Boy. Yeah, you want to give yourself a, a one-up. Because you were the second um, uh, person that if he had to choose, he would be with. And he's with now because Velvet is gone. But... At what cost um, did you have to take to get Nature Boy? And that was your health. Now you have time to think about all of what you had to endure in order to be with Nature Boy. And I know you got to be saying, is it worth it? I believe Malia stays around because it's easier to stay in the situation than to leave and then worry about what people are going to think about her when she goes back to her real life and her real family, and her real friends and associates. But it's okay. When we're young, we make mistakes. We take L's. You look at that L, Malia, as a learning experience. 
Not as a loss. Nature Boy is not a loss. When you guys decided to do what he told you to do and smuggle in those alleged drugs that didn't make it through those prison gates or that window, you guys put yourself in a really messed up situation. And if he was a god or someone that cared about you as chiefess, he would not have sacrificed your freedom to get money so that he's able to have canteen or phone money or uh, legal fees. He would be thinking about your well-being. But if he wasn't thinking about your health well-being, and now you have ailments that even if you're not with Nature Boy in the future, you have ailments and illnesses because of Nature Boy. If he wasn't thinking about all of those consequences, what makes you think that um, he cares about you or anything else around him? It's really sad that these women are so brainwashed. They think that this is love. And they're not realizing like True had to realize. Uh, well, I'm going to call him Aaron Dixon. That this is not where it's at. Nature Boy is for Nature Boy. And Nature Boy is going to suck the life out of any living being that allows him to do so. And this is what these women are allowing him to do. They're not even realizing that they're free now. They're able to make their own decisions. They're able to eat and sleep whenever they want to. And as much as he might yell over the phone when he does not have restrictions on the phone, they are willing participants that are able to leave out the front door and they're still standing around. Now they have legal issues. They're his co-defendant. And they don't even know where their their uh their lives stand right now. They don't know if they're gonna end up in jail, maybe serving a little bit of time or doing some probation. They don't know exactly what is the 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 future and what lies for them in the future because in a split second they allowed Nature Boy to take the wheel, even from a distance, and just mess their life up further. And they're rubbing it in that they're holding Nature Boy down now. But so did the other disciples. And when they got good and tired, and hopefully these women will too, they left him alone. I just really hope that they see things for what it is. I hope that these commentary videos, videos that they listen to get through to them one way or another. And they just come to the reality that they have to let this go. Um, you know, it's it's taxing to the mind, it's taxing to the soul. Um, and in order for them to be productive citizens of society and not have regrets, especially not being in their uh, loved ones' lives, especially if they have children, they have to let this toxic, um, you know, trauma bonding situation go.